Hello and welcome back to Reactions That Rock. I am still Seth. We are still in the Robotanic studio. No shilling, no commercials, no ads, and no intros. Did you check that out? Yeah, it turns out that like 30% of you just run away the minute that music hits. So I'm going to try to keep you here just a little bit longer and maybe a higher percentage of you. I'd like to keep the whole of you in the entirety, not, not, not the whole of you, not, not even. You know where my mind goes. I'm a weird, old, dirty man. Anyway, seriously, it's another Tuesday twofer. What that means is two songs by one artist, and so far I've pretty much been cranking up all my Tuesday twofers with BTS or the what at least one of the guys from the group. So we're back at it again. It's Tuesday. There's so much BTS for me to get through. I'm so far behind. I have ordered some albums. Yes, I'm an old man. I bought some BTS CDs that are sitting in my office unopened right now because I need to hear more for the first time before I open these up, throw them in the CD player while I'm out working, doing the whole real job thing. And uh, for now, I, I can't open them up because I like hearing these for the first time with all of you. So as soon as I get through some more of these, I'm cranking up the CDs and I'm finding some deep cuts. But anyway... Untold truth, or to, the truth untold, it would help if I could read at a third grade level. Uh, the truth untold, it was recommended to me by uh, somebody who shows up here quite a bit, drops me a lot of nice comments, makes me feel really good about myself, validates me as a human being. Hopefully I return the favors because I try to comment on as many of these as I can. It's a growing channel. I know I can't comment on everything, but I read every comment. I greatly appreciate them. Thank you so much. 99.999% uh, of you make me feel so loved. That other uh, one in 10,000, you can pound sand. And maybe someday we'll talk about those comments. I don't know. Uh, really doesn't seem to be a point. I try to keep everything happy, positive, uh, relatively uplifting, and leave the drama at the door. Because it's just kind of how I roll. So, speaking of rolling, let's roll right through this. The Truth Untold live stage mix with lyrics. So I'm hoping the lyrics are decently interpreted because sometimes not so much, or it doesn't even say if the lyrics could be in Korean. I don't know. Uh, so that's a possibility too. But fire this up, BTS, The Truth Untold. And then as you know, if you've been watching my Tuesday 2 first, I'll usually pick the second song just from the recommendations. I do have a few songs here on a list in case... Be here, let me... Let me get get your pause fingers ready. Do you want to see the, the list of to-dos and recommendations? There it is. What's that? You didn't see anything? Oh, that's too bad. Maybe someday I'll share it with you. But, um, so I'm going to try to pick the next BTS song from the list of recommendations. If I've already heard everything that's thrown at me, then I will fire up something else off the list. So let's go do that instead of just talking. And it'd help if I could hit the play button. Here we go. Woo! Yes, I'm going to pause it there real quick because I do have to hit that pause button every so often to keep the copyright gods at bay. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to get into, but this kind of has a ballady feel, but I really, really dig it. Um, it's, it's, uh, so far, I, I want to see where the, where the lyrics go. And it, we do get English and Korean, which is awesome because I can read one of these. The other, not so much. But um, I'm I'm really digging this, and um, 
this is going to be inappropriate to say, so if you're very, very, very sensitive, just skip like three seconds. The boys are beautiful. Okay, we got that out of the way. So let's just keep this rolling. All right. I saw you me, I gave you me. So the hand was simple, you just stood up so. To come in and sit on him in the dark. But I still want you. I love this theme. Love it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I thought when I picked the live song that we were going to get the crazy dancing and all the, the guys sliding in it and sliding out of that number one position and hitting their parts and then backing out. I really thought we were getting some crazy choreography. And instead, I got a beautiful ballad with a very, very powerful. I love the way it built and then it got like hit powerful on that last chorus uh, and verse, just really kind of like coming in strong. The, the, the music gets louder, the bass picked up. I really dig this. That's This is one of those I feel it kind of songs. And um, I think it's relatable for most of us. Um, I mean, the song is very, very clearly about putting on a mask for fear of rejection, pretending to be something maybe we're not quite or or maybe being a different version of ourselves or, you know, putting something out there into the world that might be us, but not really who we are as a hold on a second. <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh, that's better. Yeah, it's actually about putting on a, a face to the world, maybe. Maybe just changing our voice to be a little more radio uh, annoying or just being a slightly different version of who we might be in real life. Putting forward a... Am I giving something away here? Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, maybe just putting on a different voice, uh, 
that's it's still being us, but maybe just turning us up to 11 for a, a public face so that we can actually hide behind. Uh, you know, we build a mask in front of our insecurities, afraid that maybe the world wouldn't accept us for who we are. Does this hit home for anybody? Anybody? <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's see what we have here, and is there something I can fire up? Ooh. I don't know this one. That we just heard different version. I don't know this one. Oh, snooze. Some some of you have recommended snooze, but I think I need to do that on its own. Carpool karaoke. We that's the song we just heard. That's the one problem with these recommendations is we get a lot of the same songs we just heard. So I don't want to do that. Bulletproof. The etern well, we are bulletproof. Yeah. Hmm. This looks like it might be live. Should we do it? Some of you are saying yes, and some of you are like, please, no, pick another one. Uh, I can't hear you, unfortunately, because uh, this will go up uh, like two or three days from now. <laughs> so we're just, we're rolling with this. We are bulletproof stage mix. Maybe we're rolling with this if it decides to start. There it goes. It spins. This is what happens when I do this in one take, is every now and then things work the way they're supposed to. And sometimes they do not. Okay, I will not be able to put this mess together gracefully. I had just started this, and then the internet circle buffering thing started, and then my, my video recording software all just started getting really digitally fuzzy, and then all hell broke loose. So it's been about an hour. I am back up and running. Everything is where it's supposed to go. Yay, technology! Isn't it great? We are going to fire this up. We are bulletproof. Colon, the eternal. Uh, stage mix. Um, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if this is another ballad, if this is a, a singing, songy, dancey kind of number. I don't know what we're getting into, but uh, I've been told I need to see them live. So we're one down, one to go, and a lot, well, a lot more to go. But by the time this is done, I'll be have like one fifteenth of one percent of their total live catalog heard. I, I don't like my odds and my numbers on that. Uh, I, I've got a lot to go. I'm going to shut up. Um, my brain is fried from playing electrical engineer for the last uh, hour. So we're just going to jump into it. We are bulletproof. The eternal. Here we go again. I'm still stuttering. Don't wanna die. So much pain, too much cry for the move that you need to call out. Oh, 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 Bulletproof. Okay, yeah, the, there's no captions, despite it saying there were captions. It just says music. So, uh, 
I will, I promise, when this song is done, I will look up the lyrics myself, and I may even post them down there in the uh, description of the video so that we can all know what's actually being sung about. I can tell there is a mix of Korean and English. Uh, there was one actual line that I picked up clear as a bell, and I love it, and it was, um, and I'm going to get it wrong now, but it was uh, like, like so much pain but too much pride. And I think that kind of ties into the first song, too, that kind of feeling of like, you know, we're 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 kind of reserved. We're not we're, we've got too much pride to admit we're hurting uh, or to show that side of us, um, which kind of ties into the first song. Does it not? We're wearing masks. We're hiding our our true selves, our hurt selves, maybe under pride or fear. I, I like it. This is kind of ballad, but it's got a little bit of that hip hop beat and a little it's not full on rap, but it's kind of got like that heavy spoken word kind of hit. And I, I mean, I guess it's technically rap. It's just not like the U.S. West Coast, East Coast vibe. Um, but it's still like it's almost more poet, like poetry, poetic. Oh, po I just. The, the brain just stopped working there. You saw it in. Um, we're just going to jump right back into this. I, I really dig it. Um. It's uh, it's it's kind of croony. It's like it's an almost an almost ballady, but I, I'm digging it. I like it. Yes, I'm pausing it right there. Is this one of the COVID songs? Is this like, because I'm seeing like the Zoom meeting going on behind them. And it kind of reminds me of that time when there were no live audiences and we were just piping in people electronically. So is this one of those upbeat, happy COVID songs? Because it really does feel that way. And despite not having captions, I'm picking up themes here of like, all together. I mean, I know it says together like a bunch of times. So obviously... You know, I'm not an idiot, but I'm really picking up even musically the way it builds and the way it the lyrics and the the higher tones really kind of have that we're in this together feel. Um, it really has the, like the us against the world. We can do this. Let's let's break through. And I'm not sure if that's like one of the covid songs where it's just saying, hey, we're going to get through this or if it's like. You know, with the seven of us who have been through a lot of crap together are pushing through and gonna gonna see this thing all the way through. I, I don't know, but um, I'm really picking up on a unity vibe uh, and not just from the lyrics that I can hear and understand, but also like the imagery going on here, the looks, the the sound of the music where it's like pushing. It's got kind of a driving vibe to it that is... You know, it, it's a unity, not a divisive. And if you've listened to a lot of music, you you can pick up on that. Um, like like dividing music, breakup music has a lot of lower tones, a lot of um, a lot of flat notes and sh and sharp notes instead of the you know. I'm going way too deep, and I'm probably wrong, but I'm gonna let this ride out, and then I will wrap this this mess of a video up. I'm hoping when I do actually edit this, and this is one that I will have to edit. But I can edit out most of the uh, the the failures and the nonsense. <laughs>
Right. It, oh, it's but yep. So am I right? It is one of those. We're all in this together. We're going to get through this. We're stronger as a unit than we are as individuals because the imagery tells me that I, the, the word together did show up uh, like half a dozen to three dozen times. <laughs> um, so that's my my take on it. The imagery is there. The live crowd. I would not be surprised to find out that when we came back from, you know, the COVID to the pandemic, shutting down the whole world. That this was the song they ended all of their live performances with because it really does it's like a hug it's like a nice big warm hug and uh, i'm totally down with it uh two beautiful songs uh like i said i'm gonna edit out as much of the technical difficulties as i can because things just do not want to work around here it, i'm filming this on the american labor day so maybe maybe they just wanted a, a day off <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't know that's where i'm going with it but uh I dig it. I like it. I'm totally here for it. Um, these are the these were both like beautiful in their own way. This one was a little more sing songy um, than than the truth untold, and I I don't mind that. The truth untold was beautiful. It was like it was just uh, this gorgeous ballad. Um, okay, ADD ADHD. We with we threw an H in there somewhere in like the early two thousands. ADHD moment for me. Could we please have them with color-coded microphones in every video they ever do and every live performance? Because that makes it a whole lot easier for me to follow along as I'm still learning who the guys are. Um, yeah, I did pick up on, on some of it, but I'm not I'm not gonna be the guy that yells out sugar every time he shows up on the screen or whatever. Um, because at least once I'll be wrong, but I'm I'm starting to get it. Yes, I know I still have to do the guide and whatnot. I, I, it's it's on the to-do list. Um, I'm it's been on the to-do list. I know, I know. I'm working on it. Uh, there's allegedly a new guide coming out soon too. So, uh, I enjoyed both of these songs. Uh, thank you so much for the recommendations uh, on the truth untold. Uh, as for we are bulletproof, Olin the Eternal. Um, I don't know if this. I've seen bulletproof otherwhere. I know I know their name has bulletproof in it too. Um when translated. So I don't know if there's like a bulletproof trilogy or something, and this is the eternal, which would I imagine be the end of the trilogy, or if this is just a new standalone song saying, boom, we're here forever. Deal with us uh, together. I don't know, but I dig it. I like it. It works for me. Both of these, as far as I'm concerned, are absolute bangers in uh, the not generic banger sort of way, like a ballad banger. Uh, this beautiful kind of we are the world moment banger. I, uh, both absolutely fantastic. So no complaints from me. Um, I like them. I'm here for them. And I really like kind of in, in we are bulletproof, the the higher, the the falsetto and the higher uh, singing. Um, I don't know why it just really worked for the song. It it pulled me in it. Like I said, it's a warm hug and I, I'm a warm hug kind of guy. So thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you on the next one.